Hey guys, Chris here with work to game and welcome back to another Minecraft Monday. This week we're going to be taking a look at Actually Additions. Actually Additions is an interesting mod that adds a lot of features, but primarily this early in the game I am using it for power. This power is based around a plant called canola. When you harvest canola, you get both seeds and the plant. If you have not enough seeds, you can always actually turn the plant into the seeds in a simple crafting grid. And canola can be used to process four types of oil. The first of these oils is produced in just a press. You provide the press with RF and you put the plant in it and it will go ahead and turn it into the first oil. But the second oil is very easy to get to, so I don't know why anybody would use this for actual power. This is done by inserting that fluid into a fermenting barrel. That fermenting barrel will automatically turn the tier one into the tier two in trade for only time. The third and the fourth tier get a little more complicated. You have to turn the seeds first into a red type by shooting a laser at it and then empower it with this odd Thomcraft type looking grid. And I encourage you to go look at Direwolf 20's builds because he's doing the let's play on this pack. It is his pack and he does an excellent job that I've almost copied exactly here with a few modifications for how I prefer to do things. Now that we have power from this mod, it's time for it to start doing things for us. And the one thing I have been short is obsidian. So you can see I'm putting this factory together. It doesn't need quite as many blocks as I'm using. However, these casings when made provide 32 and I think they give a nice look. So I've used them just to be consistent in the build. When provided with power, this lava factory will produce lava. This produces lava in trade for RF, which is something that we now have a great source of, and can produce obsidian much faster than the 7 seconds Tinkers is taking to provide it. The goal here is simple. We're going to be providing lava into a liquid placer, a fluid placer, and then we're going to be allowing water to drip at it, and when the obsidian forms, we're going to have a block breaker collecting it. Now the execution is a little more complicated. First, I realized the fluid collector had to be placed down before I completed my lava factory, so I had to tear that apart. And second, I kind of forgot vanilla fluid mechanics for a second, so I had to jack with my water to make sure that it didn't flow into the space where the lava was trying to be placed. Now I will warn you, having run this system for a little bit since I made this recording, this is an enormous power hog. You'll notice I put a switch on it, that's nice, but I would actually also recommend in the auto breaker putting in some extra just blocks, like I think I used planks of wood, to clog up some of the slots so that it's not literally trying to fill it with stacks, just in case. Now I can't wait to get deeper into this mod, but for now I'm going to basically leave off here with the exception of running my greenhouse. The goal of the greenhouse is going to be to have all of our crops based here with the exception of, I believe, nether wart and ender pearls. So we're going to go ahead and set up a very, very large building if you don't remember the master plan and see if we can't go ahead and get more crops than we will ever use. Now, if you haven't played with the item lasers or the power lasers in this mod, I encourage you to do it. They're very interesting in how they play. But before I wrap this up, let's go ahead and get this hill cleared. Let's go ahead and use a builder's wand, because if you haven't noticed, I took a brief break and got a flight ring and a builder's wand and an ender pouch and a few other things that were just going to help me do a larger structure like this. And let's take yet one more break, and let's go ahead and use a hoe on just some grass to gather up some worms. These worms are from Actually Additions, and they go ahead and till the land for you. They remove the need for the water, and I believe that they actually speed up the crop growth, but we're going to be using something a little bit different to do that much more than just the worms can later on. Now we do go ahead and use up pretty much all of our limestone and chisel it to make the paths and I go ahead and light it so that we have a nice beautiful build here which will be the base for what we build up later. The roof is going to require some greenhouse glass. If you want to go ahead and look that up, it requires an enormous amount of resources so we're not quite ready for that. But I think that's a good wrapping up point for this week. So feel free to leave comments below. Let me know if you're liking this by clicking that like button. Uh, if you haven't joined our community, feel free to push subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.